Welcome on back, everybody. It's come to play through of Marvel's Midnight Suns in the PlayStation 5 from part number 16. And after doing the Trials of Atom in the last one, let's see what we unlocked. The Elder Atom Shrine. Interesting. Hopefully it's a new word of power. The moon seal. This looks like Atom's call. Calling on Atom allows you to reveal all manner of mysteries hidden from view. These may be long forgotten structures or events that cannot be detected with the naked eye. With a tomb's help, you shouldn't have any trouble uncovering the more elusive elements hidden throughout the grounds. Why don't you try out his blessing on that stone over there? Wow. Can you get an uh, arcane key for that? Yep. Wow. Right. Really wish they would mark on the map what we got. Valley of the Winds. So that's. Yes. Where we couldn't go, and there's a shrine to the right here. Okay. Bespoke potions. Moderate heroic essence, greater healing salve. Nice. Arcane is up. Get two more cosmetic rewards from arcane chests. Nice. And we've got death cat and moon flower. And of course, as I start recording, the sun comes out and it's now really difficult to see my screen, but you know, it is what it is. I'm also going to sneeze soon, but I'm sure you guys really want to know that. All right. Wow. Okay. That's something. this secluded bridge take a look at the map has it all unlocked yes that's yeah this we need to somehow get into here i'm guessing it's here through something Spooky. Something terrible happened here. The glorification of the royal Hungarian saints. Okay, let's head into the spooky building, shall we? Hiram Shaw's Church. area it feels wrong somehow i sense an old suffering members of the local coven were persecuted here and worse witches salem's history with witches may have been distorted over the years but some things are true the witches of salem did their best to thwart shaw but he rallied his congregation against them the catalyst of the infamous Salem Witch Trials. When the Coven called out in distress, it was Lilith and Sarah who came to their aid. They uprooted their entire lives to come here. They came all the way from Transia with the Abbey to help a group they had never met? You may not believe it, but I'm sure you would have done the same. Isn't that why the Sons are here today? Aside from that, your mother and Sarah both saw the signs of Cathan's influence. 
They knew there was more happening in Salem than the persecution of witches. Cathan's corruption had taken root in the New World just like the colonists themselves. And while Lilith and Sarah were still preoccupied in Transia, they entrusted one of the Moon Seals to the Knights of Wondercore, who brought it to the Coven with the hope that its power would reinforce them enough to deal with Shaw. But that is not what happened. Unfortunately, no. When the plague came to Salem, the same one that afflicted your father, Shaw used it to further agitate his flock by placing the blame squarely on the Coven. And the witches? The mob was vicious. And the rest is history. But what about the Moon Seal? After the trials, the Moon Seal vanished along with Shaw. Without drawing any conclusions, I think we can both guess where it went. If this was his church, then it is possible the seal is still here, or somewhere nearby. You read my mind. Good hunting, dear. Explore the church. That's the... Was this always here? I may have forgotten a few things, but... I feel as if I would remember a decrepit church on the grounds. You may not remember the structure, but maybe you've heard of the man responsible for it? Hiram Shaw? This was his house of worship, and like a great many things on the grounds, Sarah preferred to keep it in a sort of mystic quarantine. Even I haven't been inside. Is that all she did while I slept? Seal things off for our protection? She can be overzealous at times, but in this case, she was right to be wary. So what dark secret does this place hold? When Hiram Shaw first came to Salem, he was little more than a charlatan posing as a preacher. He managed to convince a few desperate souls to join his congregation, and with their help, he broke ground on this church. Whether it was coincidence or fate, in digging beneath the church, Shaw found something that would change the course of all of our lives. A long-forgotten page of the Darkhold. Do you think Shaw was meant to find that page? He may not have been the chosen one per se, but I'm sure this place radiated with enough dark energy to reach out to anyone listening. And Shaw was just corrupt enough to hear its call. Yes, Shaw was an eager study, consumed almost immediately by the whisperings of Cathan and the Darkhold's power. Nearly overnight, the people of Salem, old and new, were at his threshold, waiting for the word. Yeah. This what it's do you always know about good my to father? see you. That's not an easy I question. Clicked, uh, X there. What would you like to know? Was he a good man? Yes, I think he was. Your mother loved him dearly, and he doted over her. I think for a time she forgot who she was, where she came from, and I don't mean that as a bad thing. She and Sarah both deserve to find something more than just another fight with Cathan. Lilith did. Sarah didn't. At least, not for a while longer still. I honestly think that's the only thing she ever had against him, blood or not. Tell me about Hiram Shaw. By all accounts, Hiram Shaw was a desperate man. Desperate for power, wealth, influence, the usual desires that cloud men's minds. As I understand it, he was a largely unsuccessful minister before his arrival at Salem, traveling from place to place, swindling whatever followers he managed to gain before being run out of town. To think that a simple man like Shaw finding a piece of the Darkhold was enough to set all of this in motion, it puts things in perspective. Mm -hmm. 
until we All right. goodbye for now let's look at the map here I'm in Salem's church the Shores church sorry so let's to explore the church can't come out that we can do maybe there's something hidden that I can't see you know where to find me hunter there must not be anything here she does not see it happening Goddess disagrees. Autumn does not answer. So what? Uh, just re reload. I don't know what to explore. Autumn must not see it that way. Unless I blow this door open, of course. Idiot. Failure journal page. I was wrong to let my heart linger on the thoughts of Lilith. She and her foul sister are worse than I could have imagined. She has even more corrupted a man of my congregation to her cause. These women have more influence than that coven, even without their roots in this village. My congregation size falters. I raise my hands to Chilton nightly, crying out for guidance. Uh, one. The scroll contains more influence than I initially perceived, or it's merely power within, but corruption beyond my wildest imaginations. For each mark upon the land, the page could have been traced to its location, aligned to a person of power who handled fragments of the blasphemous tome. I've come to believe that the dark and destructive events that plague this land are not the chorological rhythms fate has in set in motion, but the dark holds sway. Cauldron Mixology. Fury Totem and Greater Strength Tonic. Cool. And... Um. The goddess of order approves. Uh, don't have any arcane. We've got another faded journal here. It pains me to set the words to page, for my cause is righteous. Any admittance of weakness I find unfathomable. But I must tread with the utmost care. The whispering spectres intensify, testing my will at every turn. This page, I've come to realize that it is responsible for the corruption, not only the souls of the man, but the destruction of entire civilizations throughout history. Today, it is the people of Salem that suffer. Uh, Professor X channels his power to raise the knowledge necessary to be shared with his pupils. Holds in his hand the key to understanding. This card represents guidance and wisdom from a teacher. Nice. Ward is not like anything I have seen on the grounds before. And yet, it's familiar somehow. Like the wards of protection that Wanda invoked to protect Doctor Strange's sanctum? Very perceptive, dear. Maybe you should approach the good doctor and see if he has any insights. And Hunter, be circumspect. Doctor Strange is no fool. Nice. Hunter? Did Wanda ever make it to this place? 
I suspect she did. But if she discovered something, she didn't tell me. Until we speak again. Yep. Right. Uh, so I forgot for that. Let's head back out. The weed is. And another chest. Well, I know I need to talk to Doctor Strange, but. Still plenty of things to discover, like this. Autumn reveals. Arcane Key and Martha Richards. A reference of a tree the village is called the Life Taker. Its limbs held so many of the dead needed to be fitted with iron supports. Martha Richards met her fate there. Common interrogation record. Okay, so with that done, there's a chest this way, which I want to open. Show me the way. Where on earth am I? I've got a haven. The eerie glade. Expected witch, Margaret Adams, suspended in an iron cage for several weeks. The unnatural longevity of the suspect revealed her true nature. Poor people, man. Right, let's grab the Empress first. Storm channels nature's power in the elements, harnessing a frightful storm with little effort. Its card represents pleasure and prosperity and a strong and natural influence. Fascinating. 17th century cemetery housing many old Salem's infamous inquisitors. Fair enough. A chest which I should just mark on the map. Generally, so I know where I've been. Right. I wanna head back. So we came up and went here, went into there, been in there. Nothing of note. There's no sign of anything to pick up. Celestial Brewing, major attack essence, an epic gift. I need something to... It's not what I wanted to do. Must be busy. The gods are yeah, so there's something there. If it was here, Autumn would show me. The son of Gaia approved. Something over that side, so we will be able to go in there eventually. There's another 
arcane key. Been in there. Might as well open this. Focusing lens. Select a hero to taunt an enemy. Cool. Good for like a Captain Marvel, to be honest. Alright, so we come down here. Which way do we go? Let's go this way. Ever flowing glade. It feels almost if Sarah and Agatha are running short of challenges to throw in my direction. I've truly changed so much that my power can no longer be satiated by these two spellcasters. No longer do I fear the darkness within me or the light. I've conjured them both and embraced the many facets of my being, darkness and light. Blood is human. Ancient Bridge. made a terrible mistake. My powers are growing stronger and I'm losing control. But that isn't the worst of it. I went to the reflecting pool today to try and search for guidance but Chirton, he heard me and I felt, felt a strange connection to him. I broke away as fast as I could but it was like his powers channeled through me and the ground grew cold and blackened beneath my feet. I thought I could use what I've channeled from Hypus to push it back but I'm so, so tired. There's, there's that way or there's this bridge let's look across the bridge reflecting pool go that way in a minute so, there's another totem Shrine. Don't know. I do have that. Ostra smiles upon me. It's an epic chest. Arcane key. Can't use that. Bloodgate. I need to find the next moon seal. Yep. There's something there. Probably get via there. Okay. Does that show up on the map though? No. If we find the moon seal, I will go in there. Back there. That's uh, oh, I got, and I wish these things would mark up on the map. There's a what's this? The Emperor. It's Charla stand guard before the different regions he battled for the title of Black Panther. This card represents ambition and leadership and protection over one's home. Encyclopedia. Decatio. Careful what you, where you brew these potions, they will stink your, your entire house. Major skill essence, Viola Shadows. So it's worthwhile actually exploring all of this area. Right, let's pray. That's three out of four. So every time you get through a seal, you tend to, I correctly. think, find one. This is the grave of Will Walker, a notoriously vicious but effective vampire hunter. Blade would have liked him. All right. I don't think we can go that way. Yeah. So I think we've done everything we can here for the time being. See, that feels like where we can do something. 
What's that bridge? Uh, that's that. Okay. Back up. Where we came from? Yes. Let's head up here then. Blessings of the goddess. Blessings of the goddess, indeed. Just check and see if there's any resources and stuff. Agatha's cottage. The haven. The quiet graveyard. Advanced Ocklet's Transmutation, Major Heroic Essence, Major Strength Tonic. The Son of God approves. Let's grab that before we forget about it, because I'm notoriously bad at forgetting things. Uh... The world. Yutaru, the watcher, is always lingering just beyond the world, observing and learning. This card represents accomplishment and becoming whole along the reaching the finale of a chapter. Cauldron Manifest 2. Odin, I suspect, is quite entitled, but entertained at this point, knowing the history of Loki's cauldron and the destruction and turmoil that await you. I hope that this relic lives up to your expectations, and should the need arise for another transfer, I hope to be caught up with the various life and death struggles which require my attention. Agatha, I know you have to enjoy a good challenge. You shall have it with this wretched thing. Made a journal. A witch appeared at the Abbey today. I cannot say from where she came, nor what it is she wants, but Agatha was truly fascinating and gifted woman of great magical ability. She brought a basket of warm food with her, and spite myself, I couldn't turn her away. Even if I'd wanted to, she told me that she sensed a child of magic, and her heart drew her here. I think that I believe her, though I know that I have no reason to. These people who just rock up. There's something amiss here. Agatha's house. Five symbols Curious. of the race of the row. Yeah. The second one of them I've seen. Cauldron experimentations. This one, cagey beast indeed. Dr. Druid was not kidding when he stated the difficulties tied to the impolite creatures bound to this cauldron. It appears that the energies bound within the forge only serve to further agitate the creature within the cauldron. June 10th, 1988. My initial experiment proved to be ineffective. A protective ward have created to shield the abbey instead released that obnoxious black cloud which hung over the ground for days in the 13th I moved the cauldron this afternoon to just outside the abbey and attempted to purify the spring that ran off from the waterfall and into the yard Instead, i managed to re release a geyser of flame that shot a good 50 yards into the air most unfortunate event the flame blast incinerated many of my favorite willow trees uh, caretaker's journal. This is not the Illith that I know. This is not my sister. I witnessed her seal away that horrid creature in a deep cave, a damp cave, with an unbreakable ward. Who could have healed the darkness with his heart, or provided him with a merciful death at the very least, to leave him to fester and slowly slip away into a painful death. I've never witnessed such cruelty from her. Now it seems she is nowhere to be found. I traced her to the gardens, to repent for what she has done. It is if she has vanished. Wow. And handbooks of the wilds. Aztec revered the mushroom as the flesh of the gods, frequently serving them with honey and chocolate. Other species, such as death cap, were quite poisonous when ingested. 
Arch bonnets were known to grow naturally in a ring-like formations, sometimes referred to as fairy circles. These were often, though, to improve fertility and to bring good fortune to relationships. Wow, how much stuff is in here? Troublesome alignments. I've been charting the celestial movements this past many months. Once the alignments have been properly calculated, I will gain a better understanding of the coming resurrection. To get closer to the narrowing the timelines, I've begun to pick up disturbances within the grounds of the Abbey. Current events have intensified as late, and a low rumble can be felt emanating from Illith's tomb. Even Gloom Grimoire. Spirit of attack essence, skill, skill to attack, skill to attack, attack to heroic, attack to skill. Nice, so you can turn each one around. Illith returned to the Abbey several nights ago, clutching the babe. It was as if the illness never had touched her. When I looked into her eyes, my sister was gone. Who or what remained, I did not recognise. She pleaded with me, on her hands and knees no less. But I could sense the magic of the dark hold all over her. She'd been cast out. The abbey is sealed. I find myself the caretaker of a child. Me, weathered note. Though I didn't know Lilith all that well, I should have imagined the hunter would be an energetic child given their lineage. Old Sarah acts as an ever vigilant stickler for order and reason. I've become something of a silent partner in crime for the hunter's hijinks around the abbey. Of course, I'd never interfere with the, the training or education, but someone has to encourage things like exploration and creativity. It'd be nice if the hunter had someone their own age to spend time with. I'm not sure a couple of old witches make for the best companions to a child. Sometimes I have to remind Sarah there's more at stake here than just training a powerful demon hunter. She means well, of course. And I know she loves to hunt her as her own. Still, going to drive each other crazy at this rate. Maybe some kind of pet would help. The Cauldron's Manifest. Agatha, Heimdall was, has aided me in the transfer of Loki's confiscated cauldron. It will be delivered to the location you marked in your letter, the same letter that found its way to Asgard and directly into Odin's hand. The request caused a great deal of excitement, prompting Odin to appoint me to the newly formed position of Asgardian warrior. Clerk, to arrange the transfer. I cannot think of a better way to utilize my abilities than to act as your delivery girl. It's from Valkyrie, hey? I've uh, got two arcane keys, so let's use it. Um, agility serum, gain a free move. Nice. I think we've done everything in here at this point. Still obviously need to talk to Doctor Strange, but there's still loads to explore now. We'll explore this new area because I want to find this one to get the next blood seal. Let's carry him around. It's going to be a bit of a longer episode by the looks of things. That's where we came down. Where are we now? At the top here. Okay, this doesn't go anywhere. Can't get across there. Yes, I can. Corrupt well. But can't do anything with this vine. The dark influence has tainted this well. No, we can't do anything with that. Right, so I think we have explored this area pretty well. Let's see if there's anything else. That's the way we came. look on the map where are we heading towards yeah we've been down here so we came here went up there that's a wall that we can't get through 
and then that would explore this area. Okay. What I'm going to do, ladies and gents, we've explored the new area that we've just unlocked um, quite well. There's nothing down here. Um, I've got a bit turned around as well, so I don't know what I have and haven't looked at. Is that the church? Yeah, that's the church. So. That makes sense. Went in there, went in there. Yeah. Been in there. go this way is that where we came out i think that's where we came out yes and then that's the path that we can now cross so what i'm going to do is explore the rest of this area um off camera if there's anything decent then i will just cut to that and that's where we'll start an episode so thank you very much everyone please like comment subscribe the good stuff it really is help me out bit of an exploration episode no battles and stuff but it's the nature of the game it's half battles half exploration so um, if I don't find anything, what we do, we'll pick up and uh, start to talk to Doctor Strange in the next one. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much. See you all in the next one.